Alright, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to just quickly get into this, so we're going to start on our first 2D NumPy array. That doesn't make sense. What have we been... Oh, 2D. I get so confused. Okay. Okay, so, baseball is a list they've created for us. Each element in the list is a list containing the height and the weight. So the height should be first and the weight should be second. And we've imported numpy as mp. Alright, so creating a numpy, a 2D numpy array should be similar to creating a regular one-dimensional numpy array. Print out the type. I know how to print the type out. So, np baseball. Line 16, I don't understand. Print out the shape of np baseball. So, it says to do np baseball dot shape. Hang on. Go home and put print around this. And let's see what happens. So the type is a numpy array, which is what we created, so of course it is. And the shape is four, so it's a list of four elements by two, because each of those elements has two elements in itself. So let's submit. Great, you're ready to convert the actual MLB data to a 2D numpy array now. All right, yeah. 100 XP. All right. Baseball data in 2D form. So, in their made-up scenario, the MLB was again very helpful and passed you the data in a different structure, a Python list of lists. Now, we could just convert that. I mean, you read the data in. That's... I don't know off the top of my head, but if it's not built into Python, then there's a package that can help. We don't need to bother the MLB with giving us the same data in a different form. Or we should have just clarified from the beginning. Okay, and they already have created a list called Baseball, which is the 2D array. We are meant to create a new variable called MP Baseball, which is equal to MP dot array of baseball okay we're doing the same thing again do mp baseball dot shape but then i just remembered i have to add print onto this again i think in pieces i don't i'm not i'm i have a lot of trouble putting this all together in my head all right, and the shape is 1,015 by 2, because we have 1,015 baseball players. So we ran it, now we submit. Slick. Time to show off some killer features of multidimensional NumPy arrays. Okay. Subsetting 2D NumPy arrays. Oh, hey, we're going to learn about the colon comma thing that we saw on that Stack Overflow. Okay, so I'm going to start with 9 and 15 because they sound fairly simple. So we're going to print of NP baseball the 50th element. So that'll be a list of the height and weight of whatever that player is. Now we're going to print. We're going to print from NP Baseball. We want the 124th player. And we're getting the height, which I believe is the first value. Now, the only thing I have left is to fill in line 23. This says, in this example, the colon tells Python to include all rows. So, if I understand this right, 
select, I'm going to assume that means print, of NP Baseball. We want, oh, hang on. All right, let me look at a couple things first. So we want all rows, so I'm going to put a colon here. I still don't understand the comma, but then we want a one because we're trying to select weight where height would be zero. Now let me look at this because I think I have line 16 messed up. So I'm wondering if I should do comma colon. Let's run this and see what happens. So the first print statement is the 50th row which is that specific player. The next print statement is all of the weight column. Uh, from what I can see, it looks right, but I can't guarantee. And then we only actually want the height of this player, which is the first number. So should I replace the colon with a zero? Or should I put colon zero? I'm going to say that looks right, so let's submit and see what happens. No. Should I put a colon here? Because I don't want both values. I want only the 78. So if I run this, it doesn't print either. What if I put the zero here? No. What if, instead of that, I put a 1 here? So my thought is, you want 0 colon 1, because that will only show the first index, because it won't print the, what's at index 1. But because we're going to start at 0 anyway, we don't have to include it, so let's see if that works. Okay, well at least it's in brackets now. That didn't work. Oh, on line 50, I didn't do... Should I do comma, colon? Because we want the 50th row, but we want everything from the 50th row. So let's submit that. No. Oh, this is where we're wrong. It says, make a new variable in p weight lb and it does not say to print that out so what happens if i run this we print it out row, row 50 and we print it out the height of layer 124 I don't know why this says 49. Oh, 49. They're saying the 50th row. And that means 124th player, we want 123. What if I say submit now? Okay. I'm really getting sick of these stupid mistakes. It says this is going well. This is not going well. But at least I finished. 2D arithmetic. Okay, so they're comparing what we're doing in this to when we calculated the BMI. And it was very simple to do. So what we're going to do in here must be somewhat sim similar. Okay, so our baseball... Array now contains three, um, each row in there contains three elements, which would be height, weight, and age. Updated is all the changes in the height, weight, and age. So it sounds like we are meant to add these together to come out with the current height, weight, and age for each player. Okay, so they've given us updated is already a 2D NumPy array, and NP Baseball is a NumPy array. 
So if we print NP baseball plus updated, then I'm guessing that that's what we're supposed to do there. Now we want to create a NumPy array called conversion. So we're going to put in this, this is a NumPy array dot array. And we're going to put in here 0 0.0254 point four five three five nine two and one. Now we're going to do print NP baseball. Why is that on there twice? Um, times inversion. All right, let's see if that also works. We're getting two arrays, so let's submit. Great job. Notice how with very little code, you can change all values in your NumPy data structure in a very specific way. This will be very useful in your future as a data scientist. Before I click continue, I, my battery is about to die, so I'm going to say goodbye here. And if I end up in these, this episode with the last episode, then I'll just take this out. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. And I hope this helped in some way, and you can let me know how this is helping you, if it is. And let me know what projects you're working on. Thank you for watching.